Doctors are warning teenagers about a new condition involving a popular social media website. Phoenix 14's Joe Bruno has more. Joe? Ben, if students aren't careful, spending time on Facebook could lead to a disorder known as Facebook depression. I spoke with one Elon student who knows from experience that it's something to take seriously. Type, click, share. That's how millions of Facebook users share parts of their everyday lives with their friends. But doctors warn that troubled teens who obsess over Facebook may be at risk for Facebook depression. I was obsessed with knowing what was happening at all times. And Elon isn't immune from Facebook depression. First year student Diane Bowie says she often felt lonely seeing her friends have fun without her. Personally, it hurts more, but I feel like to everybody else, they don't really notice it. Doctors warn the effects of Facebook depression are strong. In fact, they could be as powerful as eating alone in a school cafeteria. Seeing tagged photos, status updates, and others' wall posts from their friends can cause users to feel unpopular. You can see everything that your friends are doing, and if they update their statuses all the time, it's like going to the movies, going to the mall, and I know sometimes I've had that thought, like, okay, thanks for inviting me, like... Psychology professor Dr. Moore Slavek says the rise in social media is adding to issues of depression and should be taken seriously. I think it's to some extent easier for the bullies in that environment. Um, they get to maintain some distance um, and almost some removal from the person they're bullying because it's in this sort of online environment. The signs of Facebook depression are similar to the signs of regular depression. They include feeling extremely sad, loss of motivation, and feeling guilty or worthless. If you're feeling depressed, you're encouraged to make an appointment with the Counseling Center at the Health Center. Guys, 